Now for the final one, um, HSC a smart contract, I'm going to demonstrate something that goes wrong, right? So we've got mycontract.sol, but this script, right, expects that that solidity file has already been compiled, right? And then just attempts to read it. Now we're not going to do that intentionally just so that I can show you what happens in case you have an error. All right. So, um, Hedera Smart Contract Service or HSCS is an EVM compatible service that is part of Hedera. And you can take the exact same smart contracts that you use in Ethereum or any other EVM compatible network, and you can compile them and run them and expect them to behave the same way as they would on any of these other networks. Let's just take a look at that .sol file, right? The Solidity file, and we can see what we have here, right? So it's pretty simple, right? Um, you have a mapping of address a string, and then if you call the introduce method, it saves your it saves the name that you send in as a parameter inside of that mapping against the address. And then when you when you invoke greet, right, which um, which is another function, right, it just queries that based on the address that you're calling it from, and then it outputs. Hello future followed by your name. So that's pretty straightforward, a very simple smart contract written in Solidity. Um, and let's go ahead and do that, right? So, and, and as I mentioned before, I'm going to demonstrate an error. So, so CD, HSTS, smart contract, and then dot slash script, smart contract dot JS. And we'll see here, aha, this one requires an NPM install. Let's go ahead and get that done. All right, let's run the script again. All right, so as anticipated, um, the script has started over here, right? Let's see the output, the start, and then we've initialized, we've read in the .n file, and then we've got the um, um, the operator account and then the next step over here which is to read in the smart contract um, artifacts this is actually failed because you can see here there is no dot abi file we'll just confirm that so you can see there's not there's no dot abi file there's no dot bin file Let's make sure that we have those. So npx salty at what was the version number? 0.8.17. Um, ABI bin and dot slash my contract dot sol. All right, so we're installing Solidity 0.8.17. Yes. All right, and now we have mycontract.abi and mycontract.bin. So when it tries to load these files, it is going to work. So, um, all right, let's run the script again. So we can see here, that it has gone past the previous step. It's actually read in the compiled artifacts. And that's completed. All right. So let's go through them one at a time as well. So we'll run the script for a second time, right? So we've got the start, read in the .n file, and then we've got the operator account as usual, same thing as before. So now the new thing is that we're able to read in the smart contract artifact. In other words, the ABI, the application binary interface, which is essentially a JSON file. Um, you can see truncated over here, lists all the methods um, inside the smart contract that uh, so that we know how to invoke it. And then the next thing is the EVM bytecode, which is in binary and not necessarily human readable. And um, this is the thing that actually gets deployed onto the network and the one that, the, the thing that actually gets executed um, by the network when you call a function. 
as per uh, the EVM, um, which in the case of Hedera is Hyperledger B, uh, Basu's EVM. So the next thing is we've got a deploy um, a deploy method. Now you'll notice that over here, I'm not using the Hedera SDK, which we've used for the other three. So with transfer HBAR, with HTS topic, with HTS fungible token, those three um, hello world sequences, I have only used the Hedera SDK. Whereas in this case, I'm not importing the Hedera SDK at all. In fact, I'm using Ethers JS, Ethers JS um, 5 uh, specifically. Right, so we're not using the Hedera SDK at all. In this case, we're using um, Ethers.js. And so we're using that API. So the contract factory, we passed in the ABI that we've, uh, and EVM bytecode that we've read in and the wallet, which we've initialized. Now this wallet is not the Hedera SDK operator account as we saw before, but rather an Ethers.js um, operator account equivalent, which is called a wallet. And that has an RP, JSON RPC provider. Now, we didn't uh, take a look into how to set up an RPC provider um, or RPC endpoint, I should say, but it's actually installed in the background over here, right, while we were doing other things, and it is running over here in this. So that's what these other things are for, right? Because to interact with the Hedera SDK, uh, through the Hedera SDK with the Hedera nodes, you don't need an RPC relay, but if you're using EVM developer tools or libraries such as Ethos.js, then you've got to speak the language and that's what the RPC relay is for. Um, yeah, okay, so continuing, we've got deploy the um, smart contract. And so once it's done, it outputs the contract address and hash scan URL. So let's take a look at the smart contract over here. And we can see that we do indeed have a smart contract over here. Um, and we can see all of this bytecode. And this is the bytecode that's been translated into assembly, right? And we won't cover this today, but you can uh, verify your smart contract over here by uploading the Solidity code um, if you want to. And then in that case, you'll see the source code here thereafter. All right, back to Gitpod. Now, we're going to do a couple of interesting things next, which is to interact with the smart contract. So first of all, we're going to create, uh, invoke the introduce function, which if you remember, is a function that updates the state. In other words, this mapping called names um, is going to be updated. So we pass in a name, which is the name that you put in the .n file followed by the script ID. And then we essentially wait for the transaction to complete. And then we get the transaction hash. And then we take a look at this. And we've got this smart contract um, transaction hash. So we can take a look at that too. All right, so that's an Ethereum transaction. So we can see that the RPC relay has converted um, a transaction submitted in standard EVM format into a header uh, transaction called Ethereum transaction. And we can see that that succeeded and we can see the response, uh, the, the input, right? And um, if you decode the this into like ASCII character codes, you'll find that it matches, um, you know, what we've input over here. All right, so then the next thing is we do, we read the, we read the data from the smart contract. So now that we've stored our address as the key and the value as um, the name followed by a hyphen, followed by the um, script ID, then the next thing that we're calling now is greet, which simply accesses this mapping, looks it up by the address, and therefore should return that exact same string. And then it'll return a value that says hello future followed by whatever has been saved inside the mapping, right? So that's how we go. To, and then when we um, output the result, we see hello future followed by, you know, this, which is what we input earlier on over here. All right, and that's it. So we've got some summary metrics, right? So the only thing that's changed here is the total number of task completions, which is now four. 
And we have four completed tasks, which is actually all of them over here. The most recently completed task, which, which was um, HSCS, Smart Contract. And that took us one minute and 49 uh, seconds, right? So almost two minutes just for that script alone. And you can see that the other scripts took much less time. And that's because um, unlike the others, we made one error and we had to fix that. Essentially, we forgot to compile the um, Solidity source code prior to proceeding, running the script. And so that took us a bit of extra time. And so we've attempted um, all of the tasks and completed all of them. All right, and let's take a look at the metrics. So if we do that, this time we'll see four new entries, right? We've got a start and then this time an error, right? And the error basically tells us that we've erred on the fourth line um, over here, right? And then this, this over here is the hash of the error string. And then we've also got um, HSCS SE again, the same script repeating, but this time it's a start and a complete. So the second time was successful. All right, um, that's it.